back to Triple Goddess Soapery. My name is Angela, and today we are making shower steamers. Now, I will give you my recipe for these. Uh, I have a regular and an extra strength recipe that I have used, and I'll just buzz through that real quick, and then we'll talk about exactly what I'm doing here. So for my regular, I use 56% citric acid, sorry, 56% baking soda, 28% citric acid, 1% polysorbate 80, 7% cornstarch, 2.5% of any oil of your choice. It's just going to rinse down the tub, so cheaper the better. And we have 5% of essential oils or fragrance oil. I'm using a blend of lavender and rosemary today. And then you have 0.5% menthol crystals. Now in the extra strength recipe, it's just slightly tweaked. It is 56% baking soda. 27.5% citric acid, 1% polysorbate 80, 7% cornstarch, 5% any oil of your choice, 1.5% menthol crystals, and 2% eucalyptus. Now I will say, I've seen people say they use up to 5% of menthol crystals, and I just think that's bananas, I think that's way too much, and I don't use that much. Anyway, in the beginning, I take my menthol crystals, and you can grind them up if you want, but all I do is I put them in a heat-proof glass with a little bit of rubbing alcohol, and I throw that in the microwave for 30 seconds to a minute until it's all melted and, and good. Um, because basically, you just want the menthol crystals to be completely melted so that you can mix them in, and the alcohol is going to evaporate, so it doesn't really matter how much alcohol you use, you just want to use enough to make sure you can melt your menthol crystals properly. And then I'm just throwing in my baking soda. I don't know if I threw in my menthol crystals yet, we'll see. I have my sunflower oil, is my oil of choice, in there. And then I also have my fragrance oils. Um, today they're actually essential oils. So I'm using 50-50 lavender and rosemary, which is a beautiful scent. I call it um, calm and focused because it's, rosemary is known to have, um, well, they say that rosemary gives you um, more focus, better focus. And then the lavender is obviously calming. And together they make a beautiful, beautiful blend. They're just very pleasant it's fresh it's clean it's just it's a really nice blend that you wouldn't expect so yeah so we're getting that in there and we're just gonna put it on the KitchenAid and we're just gonna let it go for a while until I'm sure it's all nicely blended I'm also gonna measure out my citric acid so that we can put that in at the end that way basically you don't want your bath bombs or your shower steamers to prematurely activate and by putting in your citric acid at the end you get your best chance of having a good bath bomb or shower steamer without it activating now if you have never used a shower steamer before basically what you do is you put it in the corner of your bathtub out of direct water and as it gets hit by the water it's going to release that aromatherapy into the air and it's going to be beautiful um i first started making these when i had a bad cold and i couldn't smell anything so i made an extra strength one with eucalyptus and menthol and honestly i still couldn't smell it i could barely smell it because my cold was so bad and then once the cold was over i used the second one that i had made and i was like crap i can't believe i couldn't smell this before because they are really, really strong. So here we go. That is the uh, menthol and the alcohol going in into the pool now as uh, the, um, oh, what is she? The soap chef. That's what she says. And if you do not follow the soap chef on um, YouTube, you really should. She is my bath bomb guru. She is the person I go to for all my bath bomb advice. And I do highly suggest that if you already make bath bombs, uh, just getting yourself some menthol crystals on Amazon. That's where this little package came from. I bought a little package on Amazon because I wasn't sure if I'd want to make these or if I'd even like them. And that's how I started. So you go to, go to Amazon, buy yourself a little package of menthol crystals, and see if you like making 
shower steamers. And if you do, then you can always go buy a big pack at the soap suppliers. So yeah, now we're gonna get the citric acid in there and get it all mixed up and we'll be ready to mold. Now I wrap these in those four by four foil candy wrappers. I bought them on Amazon. I got a pack of 900 for, I don't remember how much. And it came in nine different colors, so 100 sheets. Unfortunately, it does take me two sheets to properly wrap the shower steamers because they're about two inches wide and about an inch, inch, inch and a half deep, maybe. Probably about an inch. So yeah, they're just a little too big for one foil wrapper. And then they each have two labels. So I will say I find them very tedious to wrap. And... I am looking for some other options because basically I wrap them in the foil and then they each get two. So they each have two pieces of foil, two labels, and then if I package them in package of twos, then they go into a, a basically a Ziploc bag. Now, what I would like to do going forward is have the singles, but have them also packaged in the bags, just you know, bare without the extra packaging. Because if I do that, then I probably could drop my price a little bit. Although people really didn't seem offended by the price, so maybe that doesn't matter, but yeah. So I'm trying to figure out ways to minimize the packaging on these so that they're not so horrible to wrap. And then I'll like them better, I think. So all I have here is a mold from Amazon. I think I got a package of three. And like I said, they are two inches wide and they're an inch or an inch and a half deep. And all I do is pack the mix in super, super tight, and we're good to go. I let them dry for overnight, and then I pop them out and I wrap them up. Now, I will say that the fragrance is quite strong, so I do highly recommend putting them somewhere where you either have really good ventilation or somewhere where you can close the door, because, and I have a soap studio, so I do that, but I actually found that sitting in here even with a bunch of them wrapped i found the fragrance kind of um, bothersome so i ended up just kind of moving them out into a more ventilated area or an, or an area that wasn't quite so closed off but they are really easy to make and if you're afraid of making bath bombs this is a good option because you really don't have to worry about them staying together or, or anything like that you don't have to worry about your humidity or or how much moisture is in the in the product because the only liquid that you're using besides a little bit of oil is the alcohol which will all evaporate anyway so yeah they are they're very forgiving i think it's a really good um project for someone if you're thinking about making bath bombs and maybe you want to start with something a little easier these are definitely the way to go and i like to do things the hard way so i started with bath bombs and there we are all set so now the rest of the video is just me cleaning up so i would like to take this opportunity to say thank you for watching if you made it this far um if you feel so inclined please consider hitting the like and subscribe button below it means a lot to small creators like me and after tomorrow i will be making a few more batches of these because i have another market coming up on december 1st through 3rd at the german cultural center in downtown Nanaimo. If you have any questions on my process or my ingredients or anything else, please also leave a comment. I would love to answer those kinds of questions. And here we are. We're just coming up to the final packaging. So this is what they look like. This is my relaxing lavender and it's a nice cute lavender color. They weigh about 50, uh, 65 grams and they last about two to three showers. Thank you for watching.